The governor of Lagos State stopped all ride from operating in some parts of the state, and OP has decided to bring a new service called Owambe. You know, all their things are O O O. Yes, ma. You know, the owner of OP is the younger brother of Baba Jebu. The time that he used to follow his brother out, he used to hear people mention O a lot. Now, O Jari, O Jibi 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 Jibi, O Daro, O O, O O, O Tio. Okokobioko. That is why he called his company OP. So he's bringing all one back. So that those of you that like going to party a lot, you can be checking your app to find out the nearest party happening closest to you. Taco, do you know that there are some people that just watch their natives and leaves and iron them down, just waiting for weekend to reach so they can go and rock a party? Yes, ma'am. Those are the ones that will be struggling sit as if their senior brother is the celebrant. They would even keep seats for their friends that are not yet there. Then they will call them and inform them that there's a party happening somewhere. Someone that is not there, you that is there present, will be looking for where to sit. Can you imagine? Someone that is not even invited though. No, that is their elder brother's party now. They will deprive others of the privilege to sit as if they were invited. Uncle, the way the thing is spinning you, it's like someone has deprived you of seat before. Uncle, that's why some people used to give access card to their invited guests too. I'm telling you, because these uninvited woman beings, they will even struggle queue for food with the main invited guests. You will hear, bros, I was behind this lady. I just went to eat myself. So I will even create space for their friend that is just coming to the party. They will come and stand in front of them. When you complain, they will tell you that they came together. Please, so we are just joking about Opeo. They are not launching anything like Owambeo before Opeo will come and sue us. Uncle, what is your problem now? Leave them now. Leave what? Don't mind Taku. Even all the things he was talking about how the name OP came about was a lie. Uncle, you should have left them now. You will see how some people will start going and searching for all one bear in Google Play. Even Google will be wondering, uh uh, what's going on? Or is there an app that their platform has mistakenly deleted? Anyways, about this party thing, but do you know that there are some people that only feed on party food? Uh huh, nah. No, seriously. I went to a party like that, and one guy actually came with a polythene bag. Here! Yeah. This thing is a serious matter. Hunger is tearing people's tummy. Uncle, you don't used to see those videos on social media. Now some people will be stealing their own food in the party and put inside a bag. Their own food, oh, it is not as safe as another person's food, oh, the food that they serve them. I used to see Otaku. Those ones are ashamed that people will see that they are taking food home. But why not just look for a takeaway container and put your food and take it home? Nobody will stop you. Tako, this guy I'm talking about. Towards the end of the party, when people were just dancing and some had even started leaving, the guy took the bag to where the food stand was and started pouring food inside the bag. That is called survival by Agia Timism. Agia what? Timism. Tako, which dictionary is that one? Uncle, it is called Foodily. Hmm. You know there are different people that come to your wedding party. Those who come to eat, they won't come for the church wedding. No. It is reception that they will go straight. You will see them sitting down and be squeezing their faces. When the MC is calling people to the high table, they will tell you, why is this guy wasting time now? Please hurry up, we are going somewhere. They are not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere. When they see food and they start eating, they are the last people that will leave the place. They will collect the first round of food and hide it under the table and be waving at the waiter. Hey, you have not served this table. Meanwhile, they have served them. They are the ones that will come to your wedding with bags while others are coming with gifts. Like that man that you talked about. Who told you that they don't come with gifts? The poly bag that he came with, is that not a gift? It is the celebrant that doesn't want to collect it. So they will use it to help themselves take food home. Then there are those who come to see if someone will interrupt the wedding. They are the ones that will pay so much attention when the pastor is asking if anyone has something to say before they join the couple in holy matrimony. They are the ones that will be ready with their phone camera to capture any slightest mistake that the couple make. How do you think all those videos of mistakes during wedding used to get online? Then there are those who come to show off their latest outfit. They will be standing most of the time. Yes. Even when the music is not playing, they will be dancing. They want the camera to capture them. They will use the restroom like 10 times so that people will notice their dress. They are the ones that when you discuss something else, 
there will be diverting the talk to be telling you, ah, this teller did not show this style as I directed him. Oh. This place is supposed to be like this or like that. Yes. They'll be scrolling phone to show you the clothes that they wanted to wear before the judge decided to wear this one. Before you know, they will start showing you the picture of their whole wardrobe. Not knowing that the dress self, they collected it on credit. When you see them ignoring one particular number like that, you know that's the teller calling to ask for his money. Yes, so also there are those who come to make their own catch to find a spouse. They will be looking everywhere as if they are expecting someone. When you sit close to them and you are discussing with them, they will be doing yeah, yeah, mm hmm yeah. When you now ask the question, that's when they will startle and ask you, sorry, you mean, sorry, my mind was not here. Where is the mind that you had to leave it and come alone to the party? Please answer Taku. Why would you leave your mind at home and bring yourself to the wedding party? Uncle, if it is me, I will tell you, let's go. Let me escort you to go and carry your mind. I will pay for the taxi. You left your mind and came to the party alone. What if someone steal it? Oh yeah, answer now. What if someone steal your mind? Uncle, you know some people used to steal mine. Those people that when they do something sometimes, they used to tell them, ah, you have mine though. Really? Uh -huh, now. They know that that person has stolen someone's mind. That's why they say, you get mine though. Then there are the regular party crashers, the gossip mongers. They don't miss any party. They are the ones that can write a dictionary and give you every single gist about someone else's party. On Thursday evening, they already iron their dresses down. Ask them where are you going? They don't even know yet. Oh. They will be calling all their friends. Tokpe, Sukura, are you going anywhere this weekend? If by Friday evening, they have not gotten any event to attend yet, they won't be friendly with anybody. Oh. They will be pressing their phone and be chatting with everyone to discover a party. Uncle, those are the kind of people that their mother started their labor in a party before she was taken to the hospital to burn. Some of them, maybe they were even given birth in a party set. Who knows? Then there are those who come to complain. They will start from the entrance of the venue. Why did you choose this venue to wet? The hall is not in a good location. The decoration is not beautiful. The color of the groom's dress is boring. The color of the day is annoying. The food didn't get to me. Why haven't they served our table yet? Even when they get served, they will tell you the food was not well prepared. They will tell you the chicken was not well sourced. The seasoning is too much. The curry was a little more than okay. They are the ones that will be selecting drink. They will be asking, is this the only drink that you have? Don't you have this one or that one? They will be requesting for drink that they know is not available. There's one guy that was requesting for more weight in a wedding. His other friend was requesting for chandong. Who they serve that kind of drink for wedding? Maybe they think it is Dangote's elder brother that is hosting the party. Or oh, E-Money. You know when E-Money celebrated his birthday last year, it was Zlatan, Naramali and Joe Boy that were serving drink in the party. The money that E-Money gave them to share later on, Naramali carried the money alone. Then he sent small to Zlatan. He did not give Joe Boy anything no. Taku Taku, you have come again. Ah, uncle you don't know. Naramali was the leader of the team now. Nah. It is because of that thing that made Joe Boy went and sang that his song that he titled Don't Call Me Back. He was telling Naramali that he has left the team. He is not working with him again. He should not call him back. My people, Tapo's brain is like a Chinese phone. When it works too long, it starts heating up and gets so hot. Let's draw the curtain here for today before some fuse start burning. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Also remember to watch funny comedy videos on UG Tunes. Stay blessed. See you next week. Hello everyone and welcome to another awesome edition on Takpo TV. Today we are discussing on which tribe in Nigeria is better to marry from when it comes to bride price. And on the panel today, we have our own Owori Takpo and by my left, is Mr. Adedibu Adepotu Adiogun. We all know Nigeria is such a multilingual and multi-tribal nation and these tribes all have different cultures and when it comes to marital rights, they have several ways to go about it. Some of these tribes come with exorbitant lists of bride price and it makes it very difficult for our young men who are just coming up in life to settle down being that most of them don't have good paying jobs. 
Starting from you, Mr. Owori Takpo, which tribe would you advise one to marry from? Marry from Wari. That is the best tribe to marry from in Nigeria. Eh? Which Wari? Don't try it, oh. The girl will break your head with bottle. <laughs> Yoruba is better. Oh, Jari, which Yoruba is better? I am telling you what I know. Yoruba people that are full of fear. Even if your children see butterfly, they will run away. <laughs> Worry that your children will not be able to speak good English. Is it not area A, area A, that they shout? Let us hear something good, oh, Jari. Hey, 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 gentlemen, let's calm down. Please, let's keep track of the topic today. Mr. Adedibu, over to you now. Tell us the advantages of marrying from the Yoruba tribe over other tribes in Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Yuji. You see, in the Yoruba culture, the total amount you spend for bride price is very, very small compared to what other tribes in Nigeria, where they have about eight sheets of paper for only the list of bride price. A young man who is just starting his life can marry a Yoruba girl. It's cheap, and your wife will give you peace of mind, unlike worry that Owori Tapo is talking about, and many I other tribes. Ye. Which cheap? Yoruba that like party more than heaven self. <laughs> when you marry, you will do party. When your wife is pregnant, you will do party. If your wife is born, you will do party. If your picking grow teeth, you will do party. If you are picking work, you will do party. If you have accident, you will do party. If bicycle jam you, you will do party. If you jam person, you will do party. If you are picking fail exam, you will do party. If your wife mother dies, you will do party. If your wife father dies, you will do party. If your wife's mother's cousin's son dies, you will do party. If your wife's father's elder sister's cousin dies, you will do party. If your wife's grandmother's uncle's friend's younger daughter's brother dies, you will do party. If your wife's grandmother's uncle, friend, younger daughter's boyfriend die, you will do party. If your wife's sister, elder, uncle's junior wife, younger cousin's boyfriend die, you will do party. 